Hi friends and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Friends, we're going to read Dr. Seuss's Oh Say. Can you say? Oh my brothers, oh my sisters, these are terrible tongue twisters. Friends, you might have to help me with this. I'm not the best at tongue twisters. Oh say, can you say? Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. That's funny. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine. fine. Finey's Diner. Finey also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish, and Finey says with pride, the finest fish at Finey's is my freshest fish, French fried. <laughs> Friends, I had a hard time saying that. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finey's. If you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finey fries. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. That sounded good, didn't it, friends? Okay, this says Din's Shin. I like dinosaur shin. All right, let's see. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin, and the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with, with his handy shin bin plin. No, sorry, shin pin bin. And with a thin blin shin bone pin, blin pins dins shin bones right back in. I didn't enjoy that one, friends. We're not gonna love them all, are we? Bed spreader, bread spreader. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butter on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading. Or that bread spreader sure going to butter his bedding. <laughs> that one was funny. Abe Cakes. Grape Cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy apes said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Big old question mark. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. They're definitely tongue twisters. All right, now let's talk about money. You should leave your grocks home when you travel by air. If you take them along, they charge double the fare, and your grocks must be packed and locked in a grocks box which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on foxes for, bo for groxes. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. I don't know which one would be cheaper. Eat at Skipper Zips. I like that boat. I like that ship. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, that's a clipper ship, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zips Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. <laughs> I'm glad we have an easy one, friends. Oh my goodness crazy. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers, who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio Horace and Hendricks and Hud, and then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud, also Fitzsimmons, Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. That means he'll be in big trouble. <laughs> quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack, quacks back. The quacks, blue quacks, make her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker Quacker, quack, quacker, backer. <laughs> and speaking of quacks reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh, say, can you say? I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. There you go. That one I thought I did pretty well. 
West Beast, East Beast. Then there's the boy in the middle. West Beast, East Beast. They look kind of mad, don't they? They're kind of mad and grumpy. They look a little Grinch-like. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beast, each beach beast thinks he's the best beach. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the East was best and the West was worst. Then I looked again from the West to the East, and I like the best on the East Beach least. That means he liked the West the most. And they look identical to me, so I don't know what you would think differently about them. Pete pats pigs. <laughs> Friends, have you ever patted a pig? Pete Briggs pats pigs. Briggs pats pink pigs. Briggs pats big pigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. <laughs> Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs's pink pigs, big pigs playpen. Pig pen, sorry. Again, kind of funny. This says Fritz food, Fred food. All right, Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz food, and Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz Fred Fred. <laughs> the, f the fed and Fred get very hard. These look like pickles, don't they? Those look like corn chips or something. I don't know what those are. Ooh, look at those animals. How to tell a clox from a glox. Again, they look similar enough that I couldn't tell them apart. He's using his telescope. All right, well, the Glox, you will notice, has lots of black spots. The Klotz is quite different with lots of black spot, black, black dots. Oh, but the big problem is that the spots on a Glotz are about the same size as the dots on a Klotz. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is, and then it's easy to tell who the Klotz or the Glotz is. So I think these are dots, and so the one with the dots is Klotz, which makes this one Glotz. That was a little bit hard. Dr. Seuss really likes nonsense words, doesn't he? What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap or a fat flap jack flapper in a flat flapped jack cap? Or if you think you don't like cops caps, flapjack flappers or cupcake cooks caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who like kooky captain's caps, perhaps. Ooh, look at that fancy caps. More about Blynn. When Blynn, well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins who, tucking twin instruments under twin chins, lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. And, oh, say, can you say? Far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn, has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-stringed, tin Schwinn mandolin. Crazy. A little crazy. Rope soap, hoop, <laughs> hoop soap. That's going to be hard for me to say. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. That already doesn't make any sense. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in soapy Cooper's super soap soup off hoops soak suds. Ugh, that was ridiculous. That did not sound good at all. Merry Christmas mush. It looks like that came out of the Grinch story. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch, but I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch mush much. It doesn't look very good. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. 
If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect gris Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. Okay, that one I think I did very well. But if your daddy's name is Dwight and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. That one I did okay, it just wasn't as fast. It gets kind of fun when you go really fast, doesn't it? All right, a few more friends. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus with whisker, which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. <laughs> that would not feel very good. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? All right, last one, my friends. The cute little bird. The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. I like that, the illustrations on that page. Friends, I hope you enjoyed all of these silly rhymes, terrible tongue twisters, and I will see you tomorrow for our next Dr. Seuss story.